so as you can see here we are partitioning the data by 10 okay um, the line rdt is that we have created in the previous video so there were two partitions right that created now i am splitting into 10 partitions okay and uh, so for reading that because if i remove this one it will not go into show me the jobs so for reason being i want to see the number of partition with the data so if you look at this one partition 0 this is the content okay and this is for the partition 1 we'll go into have this uh, this uh, content don't go over to the uh, number of bytes because these are not correct as we are formatting it to the string okay but uh, this is not how the spark usually uh, write the data because uh, we cannot see the data in the spark ui but for the visibility purpose i have um, written some approximate data size putting into the string okay and if i remove this one it will not go into create any job because there is no action of it so just to make the option or uh, action available to execute the rdds uh, i am just using the cget rdds okay as a method which we have seen in the previous video so i can show you here as well so i am just reading the rdds and then i'm partitioning it based on the index uh, i'm just uh, uh, iterating over it okay as you can see i'm converting into the utf8 for the size okay and then i'm just putting it into one of the location which is x.txt uh, file store table x.txt and i'm reading that x.txt in this line of code okay so nothing fancy here um so once so let's quickly see the jobs okay let me open in the new tab okay so as you can see there is only one job and in one job we have two different stages happening so one is the repartitioning the data and then that repartition is being read okay so in the next video we will going to see uh, this new part